Am I losing my Native American English accent? The strangest thing happened to me recently where two people within a minute asked me what my native language was. <laughs> anyway, my name is Mark and this is Language Come Up, a channel where I come up and you do too. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. And it's very quite interesting because my father from Mexico lived in America more time than he did in Mexico. He spoke with uh, a slight accent. He spoke English perfectly, but he spoke it with an accent. One time I spoke, I spoke with my cousin from Mexico and he said, hey, I talked to your father. It's kind of strange. He doesn't sound like he's from Mexico City. And since he told me that, I have always been just fascinated by the idea of not being a native, essentially, in two languages. Because my dad, in 30 years, rarely ever used Spanish. Even when he was in America for his first few years, I read his, let his letters to my grandparents. And there's like lots of kind of trans translations of English ideas. And uh, if you watch my last Spanish video, Excuse me, not my last Spanish video, but um, the last video that I did. Right at the beginning, I do a kind of like some translation of a Spanish idea. So I know this happens every now and again, but I never thought that my accent has even diminished in English. Uh, I'm a full-time English teacher. I speak it all the time. So... You know, I would say that I haven't lost it, but what is up with this situation that happened not so long ago? Okay, so one of the guys uh, is a French guy, and, you know, all right, I can kind of explain that. It's like, all right, well, there are many different kinds of accents. Maybe you haven't heard them all. Uh, he later told me that he thought that my vowels were pronounced a bit a bit lighter than some of the other accents that he's heard. That he's heard, fine. Uh, but what's up with this other guy? Because he he's a native from California, right? So uh, it was a guy who I found on Instagram. I came across his profile. It was pretty cool. So I said, "What's up?" He sent me a, a voice message back, and then I sent him my voice message. And I'm gonna play it for you, and you tell me. Um, would you agree with this guy if you heard this? Would you think it is a non-native accent? So I will play for you right now. Uh, cool, man. So yeah, for sure you are a big language fan. Well, my Spanish is advanced. I'm a year and a half uh, of learning Russian. I think if I were to pick a third language, it would be Mandarin. Um, so... Yeah, there's that. And as far as Asian languages, I don't know. I'm kind of interested to learn a little bit more about Vietnamese, even if it's just from a learning about it perspective. But, yeah, I mean, languages are awesome, right? All right, so that's what I said. And I listened to it back after he asked me if I, you know, oh, this is what he said. I'll play just part of it. Okay, so he assumed that I was a speaker of another language. You know, <laughs> it hurt a little bit, I gotta say, but not so much to where I was mad. You know, um, I thought, well, maybe I, I actually didn't connect some of the words exactly grammatically correct, but this happens all the time. If you are just speaking, thinking, and you're in something else, you'll say something, and you can do that as well. Um, I don't know, maybe he didn't listen to it well enough and he saw my name, which is a French name, and he kind of came to his own conclusion. That's what I'm thinking. But, um, really, really interesting situation. Um, so, what do you think? Native accents or no? Slight accent?
Hmm. All right, well, <laughs> that's that, you know? Um, so, other than that, last week was my birthday. It was on Thursday. And, you know, I had a really nice experience. Um, I had a class with um, uh, a person that I really love talking to, um, Anastasia. And after our English class, I had asked her to, you know, kind of uh, speak to me in Russian a little bit and kind of as like a birthday present. And, um, you know, we spoke in Russian and, you know what, it really, really, really made my day. We spoke for an hour and um, she, you know, is not a teacher, so she's not great in her language. Um, although I think that she kind of spoke to me in a bit more relaxed manner because she knows I'm not a native, but I didn't ask her to do that. Um, but it was such a really enjoyable conversation and, you know, it's these little things that really keep you going, just really stoke the fire and um, it really made my day because she is really, really an, an awesome person. Um, I saw a couple movies. Well, I saw a Russian movie yesterday. It was called Text. It was about a guy who was wrongfully charged for um, com committing some crimes he didn't do, and you know, he gets out of jail, and you know, he wants to take care of some some things. It wasn't as good as I hoped. Unfortunately, it was a really new movie that was only released just last year, um, but. You know, it wasn't Russian, so that's something. I watched a super, super, well, I've been watching a really cool telenovela. It's like my first real Mexican telenovela, and it's called um, Rosario Tijeras. And it's really, really, really addicting. Like, I've seen five, six, no, I've seen like six episodes, five at least, and um, now I understand what the whole thing is about <laughs> this kind of thing, you know? Um, oh my gosh. It's more addictive than anything on Netflix I've seen or HBO in like the longest time. You know, I'm just loving it. And it's kind of funny though because it's been, um, it's been a bit since I have watched a Spanish, a series in Spanish lately and it made me realize, wow, you know, they say Spanish is a language that's spoken so fast. And, um, you know, listening to uh, this this show <laughs> really reminded me that. So, reminded me of that. Um, <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, my study week went pretty well, considering I had a birthday, and um, I kind of took it a little bit easy on on Saturday. But I would say it was right on the same level as the previous week. Um, so, you know, all I try to do every week is just keep on progressively building until I get really where I want and, um, obviously try to maintain that. I got a couple gifts in the, <laughs> gifts in the mail. My buddy who, um, had a couple books that I lent him from poof, years ago before I even really started studying Russian, he sent me them back and these were a present from my best female friend, Lana, who studied in one of the best um, Canadian universities. She majored in Russian. And um, I've been considering about when and how, or if, <laughs> I should incorporate Russian grammar in my studies. Now, if I do, of course, it's only going to be super, super light and just rely on my study to do the bulk of my language learning. Um, but, this book looks really cool. I was leafing through it. It seems, um, it seems explanation heavy as opposed to grammar heavy, which is ideal. I have the, um, I think the Penguin Russian course that basically everyone has that goes into some grammar. I think it would start with that, and um, yeah. So. Um, I'm just super excited about, you know, thinking how I can incorporate or just basically fine tune my studies for the rest of the year. So we've got like, you know, we've got 
you know what is it like <laughs> various months left in the various months left in the year and um, I'm having just a blast thinking of how I'm going to really um, <laughs> um, carry out my plan so even as I say this like I have all these like Spanish expressions in my head that I'm like oh yeah say that no I'll say that oh wait you're speaking English um, so very excited about that at the end of the year it will be two years of Russian <laughs> and wow well, it's been great so what do you think guys we're wrapping the video up now do I still have my native accent or no anyway <laughs> tell me how your studies have gone in this past week how's everything going what are you guys doing and um, how are you looking to end the year study wise language goals and all that all right so if you like this video give it a, a like and go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you next time okay so i just said that this grammar book is explanation heavy and that's good i meant to say it's example heavy so just consider this an outtake <laughs> we'll see ya